Hello, I'm Jackie and welcome to this next lecture. Now for this lecture you will need your resource book for lecture 3. In this lecture we are going to learn the chords of C, F and G. So first of all, let's start with the chord of C. Take a look at, take a look at your page, lecture, lecture 3. Okay, and it has the diagrams written down for you. Right, find your set of two black keys and come to the left and place your number one finger, which is your thumb, on C. Okay, let's do that again. Find your set of two black keys, come to the left of your two black keys and press your thumb on C. Now your number three finger goes on E. So you go C, D, E. So place your third finger on the note E. Okay, now we want the number five finger on the note G. So if you go from E, E, F, G. And that is your chord of C. Play it together and that's how it should sound. Let's do that again. Look for your set of two black keys and come to the left. Place your thumb, your number one finger, on C. And two notes up from C, you have your number three finger on E. And two notes up from E, you have your number five finger on G. There you go. Play it together. And that is your chord of C. Now we're going to do the chord of F. Your thumb comes to the left of your three black keys. The first of your three black keys, your thumb comes to the left. So find your three black keys first, come to the left and place your thumb on F. <clears throat> okay? Now two notes up from F, you have A. Place your third finger on that A. And two notes up from A, you have C. Place your number five finger on C. Then play those notes together. And that is your chord of F. Let's run, let me run you through that again. Find your set of three black keys. Come to the left of your three black keys and you have your note F. Press F with your number one finger. Then two notes after F, you have A. Then two notes after A, you have C. One, three and five. Play that together and that's your chord of F. Now, straight after F, you have G. So that's how you will find it, F, G. Remember your musical alphabet, C, D, E, F, G. Place your thumb on G. Your third finger goes two notes after G and lands on B. Then your number five finger goes two notes after B and lands on D. Play that together and that's your chord of G. Let's do that again. Remember where your F is, where you just found your chord of F. Come straight after your F note onto G and place your thumb on G. Then two notes after G, place your third finger on B. And two notes after B, place your number five finger on D. And that's your chord of G. Okay, right, let me run through that with you again. Remember it's on lecture number three and you have your diagrams in front of you. Let's go back to C. Find your two black keys. Come to the left and place your thumb on the C. Then place your number three finger on E. Then place your number five finger on G. Play that together. That is your C chord. Then we have the chord of F. Find your set of three black keys. Come to the left of your first of your three black keys and press your thumb on F. Then your third finger goes two notes after F, which is A. And then your number five finger goes two notes after A, which is C. Play that together and that's your F chord. Straight after F, you have G, G note. Place your thumb on G, number three finger on B, and number five on 
D. They're all two notes apart, played together. And that's your chord of G. Now you have a practice schedule to follow and you play C, F and G, five, C, F and G five times each first. So you play the C, two, three, four, five, and then you play F, two, three, four, five, and then G, two, three, four, five. I hope you understand, stood that. C, C five times, one, two, three, four, five, then F five times, one, two, three, four, five, and then G five times, one, two, three, four, five, before continuing, continuing with the sequences that follow. So you play C, F and G ten times now, C, F and G, practice that ten times, and then you have G, C and F, Practice that ten times. It means practice going from one chord to another, individ not individually. Go C, F, G, C, F, G, and so on ten times. I hope you understood that. So we have the next one is like G, C, F. Practice that ten times. And then you have F, C, G. Practice that 10 times before going on to the next sequence. Now the next sequence consists of C, F and G again and is played through three times. C, 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 F, F, C, 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 G, G. F, F, C, 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 C. Join in if you can. C, 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 F, F, C, 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 G, G, F, F, C, 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 C. One more time. C, 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 F, F, C, 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 G, G, F, F, C, C, C. Now repeat that, se repeat that sequence five times um, that you've just learned, that, that next sequence, and then practice the whole lot for two days before coming back for your next lecture. In this lecture, we learned about the chords of C, F and G.